Today, six women made history. The all-female flight made it to the edge of space for a truly out-of-this-world experience, or barely out-of-this-world experience. Yeah. But were they making history, or were they making noise? Well, that could be a question for observers of Blue Origin's early morning flight. Fox 11 Susan Hirasuna joining us now with the story. Well, some say they were more space tourists than actually mm -hmm. astronauts. It's the crew on the ground that actually puts them into space and then brought them down safely. But regardless of the criticism, the six women, including celebrities like Katy Perry and Lauren Sanchez, say they are changed by this experience. This is the tradition before each flight. Ring the bell. Then six women stepped into the capsule of the new shepherd and the moment they've trained for. The 10 minute and 21 second mission took them just past the threshold of space, reaching an altitude of nearly 347,000 feet to experience weightlessness, getting a glimpse of the moon. Oh, the moon, you guys. I will have to tell you, look at the moon. The zero-G experience was a relatively short one, and then it was a matter of getting back into the seats for the trip back to West Texas. Zero-G is very difficult. You know, all the training about this is how you get in the chair and this. I look like a friggin' moose getting in the chair. It was like, <laughs> oh, just, just let me get in the chair. Once the capsule landed safely on Earth, Blue Origin owner Jeff Bezos opened the hatch. The women emerging, grateful to be back on solid ground. Katy Perry kissed the ground. You never know how much love is inside of you, like how much love you have to give mm -hmm. and how loved you are until the day you launch. You know, Alan Shepard, I told you about this, did the same exact flight and he became the first American in space and six women just did the same flight that yeah. he didn't. Aww. Well, the other women you might not know as well included Amanda Wynn. She's a notable for her activism as a rape survivor. She founded RISE, a nonprofit organization to ensure the civil rights of sexual assault survivors. And of the six, she's the only one with actual experience with NASA. She worked on the last space shuttle mission. My question is, yes. if you got the invite, yes. would you go? Oh, 100%. Uh, exactly. A thousand percent. Exactly. So <laughs> I, I hear all the yes, criticism. I would go for sure, but I'm not sure. I, Gail King says, I don't know if I could take that title astronaut. Yeah. She said that herself because she... Right. You know, she right. recognizes that she was not a part of the, you know, the science, the technology. But didn't I just Google it and it says something like... Uh, sp yeah, you're I mean, in Google space. space. Right, right. Yeah. You're in space, yeah. Yeah. But interesting to watch, and it looks like it would be a lot of fun. All right. Might have been a little different, though, than when Alan Shepard went up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I'm just a little saying. different. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Susan. Thank you, Susan.